Major General Tammy Smith. My current assignment is military assistant to the Assistant Secretary of the Army for Manpower and Reserve Affairs at the Pentagon. What has it been like being LGBT in the military? You know, it depends really on what year you're asking about, because my own LGBT journey through the Army goes all the way back to being a cadet in 1982 and spans all the way forward to where we are in 2020. And so my being LGBT was limited, depending on how far back you go, all the way jump forward to 2020. And at this point, I have um, fewer barriers being in the military than a average person who's just a regular citizen of the United States perhaps has. It's, it's been a tremendous journey and a tremendous thing to, to see that how the barriers have been knocked down so that people can simply serve their country. You are seen by many, myself included, to be a leader who is not only there for soldiers directly under you, but for those across the ranks. Recently, a soldier posted something about an incident in their office uh, to Twitter, and your response was, tell me your unit. What changes have you been able to influence as a general officer? Well, the, um, of course, we have to contribute to just the phrase, tell me your unit. That goes to Dr. Soldier and uh, the commander of USFK. So I was uh, mimicking his leadership when I put that on there. Uh, but, but I knew that my saying that meant something different, perhaps, in that it would... Um, it would signal to the to the folks who really simply want to um, have pride and want to be part of the community. And one of the things that I have been able to do as a general officer since being open about who I am is simply be visible. I mean, I don't have to do anything. It isn't it isn't like I come into meetings and pound my fist on the table. But there's something about being at the table and being who you are without hiding that allows people to replace a stereotype that they may have held about you or people like you with a real person. And so when I was promoted in 2012, I made a commitment to myself and to those I would leave that I would remain visible at all times and in all situations and to not hide who I am. And I think that that visibility is incredibly powerful. It maybe carries a little bit more weight because I'm a general officer, but that visibility carries weight at whatever level a leader happens to be at. Korea was the best assignment of my entire career. I can think of nothing that I could do since that anything of my choices that are left in the Army will ever top being the Deputy Commanding General of 8th Army. If there was one thing that you could ensure each soldier, service member could learn from you, what would that be? I believe it's okay to be kind as a leader. That if you are vulnerable and you have empathy in your leadership, some people just perceive that in themselves. If I did that, I'll be weak. But it actually takes a lot more strength to be vulnerable, to be kind, and to have empathy than it does just to be a hard ass. And so whoever you are in the military, if you would take one thing about leadership away from me is that, that while you certainly can never get out of the need to be firm, I mean, we're in, a, we're in a violent line of work. There are things that you will do that will send people in harm's way. But that doesn't mean that you have to set your kindness and your empathy aside or, or not let it into what is your leadership style. What was it like to be able to have Tracy live with you in government housing. Well, you know, before repeal and as we had to keep our lives hidden, um, frankly, I had no social life with my peers. And as you move up the pyramid of rank, you already have fewer peers. So you have a lot as a captain, if a little less as a major. By the time you get to colonel, you know, your pyramid is pretty small of who your peers are anyway and then anybody who you might feel comfortable sharing your life with it's really small so we separated ourselves out and most of our social circles were away from military and certainly Tracy she never met anybody who I worked with or who I was associated with at work but perhaps the single most 
I don't know, heartfelt that we have arrived, that this is, that we're really part of this army, that this army is ours as much as it has always been part of us, was the ability to live in military housing. And I always tell just regular couples, don't take for granted what it means to live in this military neighborhood because I was excluded from it. Tracy and I were excluded from it. We were not, we couldn't. It wasn't that we weren't welcome. The law prohibited us from taking part in these neighborhoods. And and it has been, I will have to say second from just my assignment in 8th Army, living in military housing has been the thing that has pulled together everything that has occurred and the thing that has made us felt the most welcome about being in the military. Well, my name is Tracy Hepner Smith and I am General Tammy Smith's wife. Um, I never would have um, imagined myself in this role, but as life often hands you things you're, you're not also always prepared with, um, I'm very fortunate to have this extraordinary woman to walk this path with even into the unknown and it has been really a privilege in a once in a lifetime experience to step into the path of military life and walk these last 15 years together I know that's been kind of disappointing that we haven't had our pride parties and our gatherings but pride is a spirit just as much as it's an event and we keep pride you know, in our hearts, and we, as an LGBT community, believe me, we can figure out a way to keep that spirit alive um, until such a time as we can reconvene and uh, dance and celebrate um, each other. And everything going on in the world. I mean, so we're, we're, I mean, we're talking about the physical separation, of course, from COVID, which doesn't allow for the gathering of pride. And then we're having this really critical conversation about racism in America. And, you know, so as we look at what pride means to us in 2020, it's um, for us, especially in the Department of Defense, it's first pride in service, pride in being authentically who we are, but also pride in the allies who have helped us along the way to remove barriers uh, that previously prevented us from being who we are, and then leveraging who we are now to be better allies to not only the black community, but to any community that needs someone to help amplify their voice. Happy Pride and Army Strong. Fighting. Fighting.